Division outside a drag queen story hour this afternoon in Canton. The event was met with protesters and counter protesters. WJZ's Caroline Forback was there talking to people on both sides, and she joins us live now from Canton. Caroline. Kelsey, good evening. We saw a divided crowd outside of the event today, some protesting the event, while others came out to show their support for the Drag Queen Story Hour. A spokesperson for the library says they do story hours all the time, and this is not the first one to have a drag queen as a guest reader. A group of protesters chanted, Leave Our Children Alone, outside the church on the square in Canton Saturday afternoon, where a drag queen story hour was taking place inside. The Pratt Library is always supportive of diverse voices, and we always will be, so we're really proud to be here today. Baltimore's Enoch Pratt Free Library hosted the drag queen story hour in partnership with the church on the square, according to library spokesperson Megan McCorkle. Children of all ages and their caregivers were invited to listen to stories about having pride in yourself. WJZ asked some parents in the audience why they wanted to bring their kids to the story hour. Me and my son love story time, no matter who's reading. Your kid can learn from anyone. We wanted to come out here and make sure that we showed a lot of support for our, our drag queen performer. A number of people showed support for the event outside as well, singing and waving pride flags. Across the street, protesters told WJZ they disagreed with the library's messaging. I think it's inappropriate. First of all, we need to, we need to at least say that. It's not about being against gays. It's not about being against um, lesbians or, or the LGBTQ community. It's about the values for our children. We trust that families and parents can decide what's appropriate for their children, but we have something for absolutely everyone at the craft. According to the statement posted on their website, the Pratt Free Library is committed to advancing equity, diversity, and inclusion. For now, reporting live here in Canton, Caroline Forbach, WJZ.